So I've actually advanced this a little bit further now and I've got more hair into this part of the body. It just takes a little bit of time. If you feel when it's dry that the line's too harsh, then you can always flood it with a tiny bit of water or a bit of water and just jiggle the paint a bit. But um, I've kept the darkness less in his front end and I'm just going to do some of the detail on the face. So I'll just get that photo a little bit closer for me. The top of the ear is dark, so into the top of the ear is dark. You get a little sort of curb in here. The hair on the top at the moment is still left. I'm not sort of committing to any great um, hairiness on that. That's better. And again, if you do it too dark, just soften your brush off with tissue and just take it through. And we've got a little bit here. Again, uh, we thanks to Selma Weaver who supplied the photo for me very kindly. And we've got a little bit of darkness around the top of the eye. So do it very gently. Don't overdo it. And we've got darkness here. And we've got the same under the eye. A little bit of darkness. And you see the eye start to pop. Um, we use a combination of tones into this area. So checking the direction. The face, the hair is shorter on the face. So you get more of a slight speckled effect. And if you feel like you've done too much. Just dab it off with tissue, just jab it gently and you'll, you'll keep the speckle without too much uh, work. And I just need a little bit of my dark tone to do his nose. He's got a, a nice little sort of pointy nose. I actually think it's a female squirrel, so forgive me, I've called it he all the way through. And then we do the detail in the paws. So we've got, we can see individual toes. Just trying not to make too much of that. And it's actually eating something. So I can put a suggestion of something there. Just using that brown. So in the picture it's lighter. We're going to make it darker so we can see it. And I'm just going to use a little bit of my dark tone to separate out the chin. And I can go back and tweak that. The claws are done with the dark tone, so it's burnt umber uh, with sienna and ultramarine. Just looking in close. And we've got a shadow there. And we've got a nail there. A claw. Just get the claws on very gently, a little bit different again. Uh, I'm at a slightly odd angle, so apologies, I've probably got the camera at a slightly odd angle as well. Over time I'll get uh, better at positioning. And again, so just take it easy. And you can just sort of tweak what's going on. better line slightly a little bit dark so again just blast it back so you're just going to get this this is a little bit harsh my my lines are a little bit harsh but you can see that you've you catch your line you always have the option to go darker if you need to so i can always darken up and the actual fact there's probably a little bit more tone into here more important to keep light with watercolor it's the one medium that you don't paint what you see. If you paint what you see, in most cases, it will be too dark. So you paint what will work. Uh, and in this case, um, it's keeping light. Always, always. Lightest tone does the work because it's the light of the paper that provides the white. 
So your first tone needs to be as pale as possible. So just tweak with the body and the hair and that's your next bit.